there were several medical employees, several citizens that voiced concerns about what was going on in the special session. It seemed like that there was no consideration for what they were raising, but yet when a big co company like Ford and other com companies voiced concern, there's immediate change to legislation. Um, are the votes of Tennessee legislators for sale, and why should Tennesseans see this as anything other than legislators letting corporations influence decisions instead of the people that they represent? Yeah, I think, I think it's most important that in, in any process like this, uh, that we listen to the people. And the people are individuals and families and groups, and uh, they are people, small business owners, and that, that is the people in the state. And they're represented through the General Assembly. They're elected officials, and this is a government of the people. Um, so I think it, it's what we've tried to do in, in, the, in the governor's office. I think that's what the legislature is doing as well. We have a lot of the common, we have a common goal here. The legislature and the governor believe very much that these inappropriate government overreach mandates need a response. And we've seen that with the General Assembly. We've got to evaluate the specifics of those responses. I have, I have an obligation to do that for the General Assembly. But uh, we've responded, they responded, and we'll, we will... Uh, We'll look at those responses, make sure they line up. And what would you say to the families of this over 16,000 Tennesseans who have died from COVID that see this as a reckless and irresponsible act? Um, are they now able to hold you and the General Assembly responsible, responsible for a wrongful death? First of all, any Tennessean or any Tennessee family that's lost someone in this pandemic, and, and most all of us know someone who has, it, it's tragic. And we, we all know that. I think everyone shares the uh, understanding that this has been a very long and difficult um, pandemic and it's caused sickness and death and loss and loss of livelihoods. It's been a tremendous strain for Tennesseans. So we, we all know that and to those families, it's been a tragedy. I will say too that the response to COVID has changed throughout this pandemic because we're in a really different place today than we were when this first began. And when we were losing so many Tennesseans, uh, particularly the elderly and vulnerable, and, but we have, we're in a much different place. We have widely available vaccines that now are about to be widely available for children as well. We have therapeutics, we have prophylactics, we understand this virus there are still a lot of things we don't understand about it, but I think what you're seeing here is a, uh, a response to the change in what we know and where we are in this pandemic, uh, recognizing the full extent of it, including the losses that Tennesseans have had. But the, the actions that your, your legislators taking is directly going to result in an increase in cases and more susceptibility to the, the virus. And I think th this is putting Tennesseans at risk and you guys aren't taking responsibility for it. I think what we're taking responsibility for is to provide an appropriate response to this virus and where we are in COVID-19 today. Most importantly, recognizing that Tennesseans have a responsibility here, personal responsibility, that parents have choices to make that individuals have choices to make, that we have vaccines available now for children and adults. Uh, we're in a really different place and we should have a really different response uh, a year and a half into this than we have today. Yes. 